Welcome to Astronomy Daily, your go-to source for the latest news in space and astronomy. I'm your host, Anna. In today's episode, we've got some fantastic stories lined up for you. We'll start by exploring some fascinating new discoveries in the world of exoplanet science, where scientists have just announced the finding of six new worlds, pushing the count of known exoplanets beyond 5,500. Then, we'll decode the details of a powerful solar flare that recently erupted from our sun, one of the largest explosive events that our solar system can produce. Finally, we'll dive into the latest advancements in artificial intelligence technology as it's being used by NASA's Mars rover, showcasing how AI is revolutionizing autonomous planetary exploration. Stay tuned. You won't want to miss this. On August 24th, 2023, scientists announced a groundbreaking discovery. Six new exoplanets have been added to our ever-growing catalog of celestial neighbors. This achievement pushed the number of known exoplanets to an astonishing 5,502. From zero exoplanet confirmations just over three decades ago to surpassing the 5,500 mark today, this is a monumental milestone in our quest to understand the cosmos. Each of these newly discovered exoplanets comes with its unique characteristics and was detected using a variety of cutting-edge methods. These techniques range from the radial velocity method, which measures the wobble of stars caused by gravitational forces, to the transit method, which observes the dimming of a star as a planet passes in front of it. The diversity of these techniques has allowed scientists to uncover a range of planets, from massive gas giants to potentially rocky worlds that intrigue the imagination about life beyond Earth. Among these new exoplanets is HD 36384b, a super Jupiter that circles an enormous M giant star. This planet was found through the radial velocity method and orbits a star about 40 times the size of our sun. Then there's TOI 198b, a rocky planet that resides on the innermost edge of its star's habitable zone, potentially suitable for liquid water. Both TOI 2095b and TOI 2095c are hot super-Earths in the same system, orbiting an M-dwarf star, making them more akin to Venus than our own planet. Then, we have TOI 4860b, a gas giant referred to as a hot Jupiter, given its large size and extremely close orbit around an M-dwarf star. Finally, there's the fascinating MWC 758c, a giant protoplanet found carving spiral arms into its star's protoplanetary disk. This rare discovery was made using direct imaging, providing an extraordinary glimpse into planetary formation. These planets not only extend our list of known worlds, but also enhance our understanding of planetary diversity. They offer invaluable data for researchers who seek to unravel the mysteries of planet formation, the conditions for habitability, and perhaps one day, the search for extraterrestrial life. In summary, the discovery of these six new exoplanets underscores the rapid advancement in exoplanetary science. Each new world opens a window to understanding our universe more deeply, revealing its complexity and diversity. As technology continues to evolve, we're poised to discover even more about the intriguing worlds that lie beyond our solar system. Keep listening to Astronomy Daily for more exciting updates like these. NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, has been a game changer in the hunt for new worlds. Launched in 2018, TESS uses the transit method to identify exoplanet candidates. By observing the tiny dips in a star's brightness as a planet crosses in front of it, TESS has identified thousands of candidates and confirmed over 320 planets. This has significantly expanded our catalog of known exoplanets and provided invaluable data for follow-up observations. But TESS is just one part of NASA's impressive suite of tools dedicated to exoplanet discovery. The Hubble Space Telescope, in service since 1990, has played a crucial role not only in finding new planets, but also in studying their atmospheres. Hubble's ability to capture high-resolution images has been instrumental in identifying exoplanets through gravitational microlensing and other indirect methods. Similarly, the Spitzer Space Telescope, which was operational from 2003 to 2020, focused on infrared observations. This allowed scientists to detect planets in star systems shrouded in dust, invisible at optical wavelengths. Spitzer's contributions to exoplanet science were immense, helping to reveal the thermal properties and atmospheres of many exoplanets. And then there's the James Webb Space Telescope, the newest gem in NASA's arsenal. Launched in December 2021, 
The James Webb Space Telescope offers unprecedented sensitivity and resolution in the infrared spectrum. This telescope is designed to peer through cosmic dust and see the faint signatures of distant worlds, many of which are in the habitable zones of their stars. Its high-resolution spectroscopy capabilities are particularly exciting for astronomers eager to study the atmospheric compositions of exoplanets, potentially even identifying biosignatures. Looking ahead, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, set to launch in 2027, promises to continue this tradition of groundbreaking research. Named in honor of NASA's first chief of astronomy, the Roman Space Telescope will carry a powerful coronagraph. This instrument will use advanced optics to block out starlight, allowing the telescope to directly image exoplanets that are otherwise hidden in the glare of their host stars. This technology could significantly advance our ability to directly observe and study exoplanets, potentially even those with conditions suitable for life. These technological advancements collectively represent a golden age in exoplanet discovery. Each new instrument builds on the successes of its predecessors, offering higher precision, broader capabilities, and more opportunities for groundbreaking discoveries. With these tools at our disposal, the quest to understand the universe and our place within it continues to accelerate, promising exciting revelations for years to come. On July 13th, 2024, our sun put on a spectacular show, emitting a powerful X 1.2 class solar flare. This intense burst of radiation reached its peak at precisely 10.34 p.m. EDT and was captured in stunning detail by NASA's ever-vigilant Solar Dynamics Observatory. Solar flares like this one are not just impressive astronomical events. They are the most explosive occurrences in our solar system. Originating from the release of magnetic energy associated with sunspots, these flares are seen as bright areas on the sun. They release a tremendous amount of energy, that can reach Earth in just minutes, sometimes causing disturbances to our planet's electromagnetic field. To understand these solar flares better, it's helpful to know how they're classified. Solar flares are categorized by their brightness in X-ray wavelengths observed by satellites, with classes labeled A, B, C, M, and X. Each subsequent class represents a tenfold increase in energy output. The X class, which includes our July 13th flare, stands at the top of this scale. Within each class, there's a finer scale from 1 to 9, making an X 1.2 flare a substantial event that, despite being in the lower range of the X class, is still incredibly powerful, marking it as 10 times more intense than an M1 flare. Events like this X 1.2 flare can trigger planet-wide radio blackouts and long-lasting radiation storms. This is why monitoring and understanding solar flares is crucial. It helps us anticipate and mitigate their effects on vital Earth technologies, including satellite communications, navigation systems, and power grids. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, or SDO, plays a pivotal role in this ongoing observation and study. Launched in 2010 as a part of NASA's Living with a Star program, SDO aims to understand the influence of the sun on Earth and our near-Earth space by monitoring the solar atmosphere. Equipped with a suite of sophisticated instruments, SDO provides high-resolution images and data across multiple wavelengths, helping scientists decode solar activities. Among these instruments are the Atmospheric Imaging Assembly, AIA, which captures detailed images of the solar atmosphere, and the Helioseismic and Magnetic Imager, HMI, which maps solar magnetic fields. The Extreme Ultraviolet Variability Experiment, EVE, measures the sun's ultraviolet output. Together, these tools allow scientists to gain a more complete understanding of the intricate dynamics that drive solar variability. Through the eyes of SDO, we continue to expand our understanding of the sun's complex behavior. This continuous observation is not just advancing space science. It's crucial for safeguarding our technological infrastructure on Earth. Artificial intelligence on NASA's Perseverance Mars rover is taking autonomous exploration to new heights. For the past three years, the rover has been testing a form of AI that seeks out minerals within the red planet's rocks, marking the first time AI has been used on Mars to make real-time autonomous decisions based on rock composition analysis. So how does this groundbreaking technology work? At the heart of this innovation is the Planetary Instrument for X-ray Lithochemistry, or PIXEL, a spectrometer developed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. 
Pixel maps the chemical composition of minerals across a rock's surface, offering invaluable clues as to whether these rocks formed in conditions that could have supported microbial life in Mars's ancient past. This process, called adaptive sampling, allows the rover to autonomously choose which minerals are worth a closer look. Here's where the magic of AI comes in. The AI autonomously positions PIXL close to a rock target, then reviews the initial scans to find areas worth deeper examination, all without needing input from mission controllers back on Earth. As PXL examines a rock, its camera checks the distance and makes microscopic adjustments to ensure accurate readings. This level of precision is crucial because temperature swings on Mars can cause the rover's arm to slightly expand or contract, and any misalignment could compromise the data. Once positioned, PXL fires its X-ray beam thousands of times over a small area, each time revealing detailed information about the chemical composition of the minerals present. This setup allows scientists to pinpoint minerals like carbonates, which may hide clues about ancient water on Mars, or phosphates, which could have provided nutrients for past microbial life. This AI-driven precision not only frees scientists from the tedious task of manual data review, but also ensures that the most scientifically valuable data is collected and analyzed as efficiently as possible. This autonomous capability is not confined to PIXL alone. Perseverance also zaps rocks with a laser to study their composition and navigates the Martian terrain autonomously, both features powered by AI. The implications of this technology extend far beyond Mars. As missions venture deeper into our solar system, where communication delays grow longer, having spacecraft that can autonomously conduct science and make real-time decisions becomes increasingly crucial. The advancements made with PIXL and the Perseverance rover represent pivotal steps toward a future where AI-driven exploratory missions can operate independently for months or even years, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and our understanding of the universe. That's all for today's episode of Astronomy Daily. I've been your host, Anna. Don't forget to visit our website at astronomydaily.io, where you can sign up for our free daily newsletter, track all the latest space and astronomy news with our constantly updating news feed, and listen to all our back episodes. Catch you in the next one. 